morning students welcome back in the class of engineering chemistry i am asha pawar working as assistant professor in snjbs let sau kpj college of engineering chandwar nasik student today we are going to learn ph matrix titration that is during the titration we measure the ph so what is a ph ph is nothing but the minus log of h plus ion concentration to the base 10 that is if we measure the h plus ion concentration present in solution then in the form of ph before starting the titration some basic concept that is required during the titration is buffer solution student you know that in the chemistry laboratory we use the buffer solution and it is the most important for the various titration so what is buffer solution a solution that maintain the ph fairly remain constant even upon addition of small amount of acid or base means buffer solution is a such a solution that maintain the ph of solution remain constant even we add the small amount of acid or base in that solution ph remain constant such a solution is nothing but the buffer solution so what are the types of buffer solution there are two types of buffer solution that is acidic buffer and basic buffer then how to prepare the acidic buffer and basic buffers during the preparation of acidic buffer we use the weak acid along with the salt of weak acid and strong base that is for example acetic acid taken along with the sodium acetate sodium acetate is a salt of weak acid that is acetic acid and strong base that is NaOH means if we done the reaction between acetic acid and NaOH we obtain the salt that is sodium acetate and it is a salt of weak acid strong base that is the mixture of weak acid and salt of weak acid strong base is nothing but the example of acidic buffer that is it maintain the ph up to 7 that's why it is acidic then basic buffer how to prepare basic buffer very simple basic buffer can be prepared using weak base here i am taking the example that is nh4oh along with the salt of weak base and strong acid for example if we react nh4oh with hcl then formation of nh4cl that is ammonium chloride and this ammonium chloride is salt of weak base means nh4oh and strong acid that is hcl so the mixture of weak base and salt of weak base and strong acid is nothing but the basic buffer and it maintain the ph from 7 to 14 that is basic condition so ph metric titrations or titration during the ph measurement we know that we use the reference electrode is a calomel and the indicator electrode that is h plus ion sensitive electrode is a glass electrode so reference electrode is a calomel an indicator electrode is a glass that is that indicate the h plus ion concentration in the form of ph that is minus log to the base strain of h plus ion concentration during the ph metric titration here we consider the strong acid hcl titrated with strong base nmh before the ph measurement of the acid base titration it is a very important to calibrate or standardize the instrument used for the ph measurement that is the ph meter so connect the reference electrode that is the calomel electrode and indicator electrode glass electrode to the ph meter and switch on the ph meter then always and always for the standardization we use the buffer solution for the either ph7 and ph4 before taking the electrode for the ph measurement is rinse or wash with the distilled water if we dip the electrode in the ph7 buffer solution then display should show the same reading otherwise adjust the reading on the display by using the adjustable key at the front side of the ph meter keep a temperature key at the 
25 degree Celsius and with the help of standardized key make the display sorry make the pH that shows on the display that is the reading shows 7 then once we standardize the pH meter we don't disturb the standardized knob and temperature knob then the actual part second part of the titration is the titration between the strong acid and strong base then replace the buffer solution with HCl solution fill the burette with a known concentration of NaOH and take the electrodes glass and calomel both in a HCl solution then at the initial stage of this pH metric titration we observed that HCl is a strong acid it is very high amount of H plus ion and therefore the pH observed is a very less near about 1 or 1.5 then we start to add the NaOH from the burette in HCl solution then this neutralization reaction takes place means HCl converted into NaCl means neutralization of H plus takes place by Na plus so the pH increases that clearly observed on the digital display then pH increases as a neutralization of HCl takes place and at around pH 7 if once all the HCl converted into NaCl equivalent point of this titration is obtained because both the electrolyte taken here is strong so the exact endpoint obtained for this strong acid strong base pH metric titration is at a 7 and then after the end point or after the equivalent point if we add the excess NaOH pH slowly increases means during the strong acid strong base pH metric titration equivalent point always obtained at the pH 7 at the initial stage of the titration pH is less and after the equivalent point pH increases slowly due to the excess addition of strong electrolyte and from this equivalent point volume of NaOH and if we plot such a graph that is pH versus base added from the burette that is ml of NaOH then how much amount of ml of NaOH required for the complete neutralization that is equivalent point volume of NaOH we easily calculate the concentration or normality of HCl used for the titration by using the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. N1 is the concentration means normality of HCl, V1 is the volume used for the titration, N2 is the volume or sorry concentration or normality of NOH it is known to you and V2 is the equivalent point volume from the graph. So N1 is equal to N2 V2 upon V1 that is we easily calculate the normality means concentration of strong electrolyte and this titration is a very important for the examination point of view it is asked for the 5 marks in INSEM examination thank you